Hello and welcome back. Let's continue where we left off in previous video. In this video, we will cover how to sort data, how to split data by delimiter to both multiple columns and multiple rows, how to replace values, partial matches or full matches, how to add a custom column using custom formula. So let's jump right into it. So I'm going to open the previous query we used to work on. So I will go to data tab. In data, I will click on queries and connections and then double click on the query we were working on. And this will open up Power Query Editor. All right, so the first function we will look at from the home tab is replace values. So let's say we want to replace the MOR from the morning to TUR. We only want it to replace the specific letters we give it. So let's go to let's select the column first day. Let's go to replace values. And here we will say value to find MON. And then in replace with, we will say TUR. We will leave the advanced settings as it is for now. We will touch them later on. We click on OK. Right, so we can see that it has made the replacement for every value where it was MOR before. It has replaced with new value TUR. So for morning, it has converted to turning and so on and so forth. What if we want to replace the word Tuesday with a new word Groundhog Day? Let's open replace values and type Tuesday and see what happens. So I'm going to open up replace values again. Type in Tuesday, replace with Groundhog Day. Click on OK. So it has made the replacement, but even for values where there was something else in the cell as well. So this was before, let's say, we'll look at this. This was Tuesday dash afternoon, but now it has changed to Groundhog Day dash afternoon. But we only wanted to replace values such as where the cell value is exactly equal to Tuesday, like this cell and few more down below, like this one. So it has correctly changed those, but it has changed these as well, where it the only partially contains Tuesday in it. So let's click on the gear icon for advanced options so from here we have two options here match entire cell contents and replace using special values so for this to work we will have to select match entire cell contents and then it will only replace those values where the cell value is exactly equal to tuesday and not those values where it is only a part of that cell so let's click on ok and we will see that this will be turned back to tuesday dash afternoon but this will stay as groundhog day because it was exactly equal to tuesday so as you can see here it has made the change and now this has retained as tuesday dash afternoon and this has been changed to groundhog day if we look at the m code for both lines we will notice that one of them says replacer dot replace text so let me look at this one so i'm going to rename this for reference i'm going to say replace with contains the m code says replace text replacer dot replace text and for this one it says replacer dot replace value so by default it means that this replaced the whole value i'm going to rename this as well for reference replace with whole value all right sort rows is pretty simple and will sort rows either on ascending or descending order so let's say if i want to click on this sort and it has sorted ascending if you just want to make it descending you can either use this one right here or you can edit it directly in the m core as well so i am changing descending to ascending and we will see that this should give us the earliest date it has correctly changed it if you sort on multiple columns so let's say we click sort on here as well let me sort this a to z it will start to create an order of which column is sorted first the next column and so on you will see a small number here so this is one this is two if i do sort by this it will be sorted as three so this is telling you that one takes priority in sorting then two and so on if you think you don't need any specific column sorted anymore you can remove it manually from m4 because there is no gear icon for this one to edit this so other way is to you will have to remove the step and add it again or the easier way is you can just edit the m code for example you want the second sorting to be removed you will just go here in m code see what the second sorting is or you can look at the name as well second sorting is first day so we will just remove this section here and as soon as i press enter you will see that three will disappear and it will this will convert day open will convert to two let me click on the tick icon click ok and we see that now it has sorting on only two columns and it has automatically changed this to number two in priority i would highly suggest you to play around with the m code formula bar to see how m code reacts and build your overall skill set as well right so next we will look at the split function the split function can either split by delimiter into multiple columns or into multiple rows so let's split first day column by dash we click on split column by delimiter we click on first day you can split by delimiter you have these options available here if your option is not available you can click on custom and click on dash we click on ok and we see that it has created a split as first day one first day two so let me remove the step 
So we see that we only have one delimiter here. So for split add, we have multiple options available. Let's go back to this, click on delimiter. And we see that we have multiple options here available. Says leftmost delimiter, rightmost delimiter, and each occurrence of the delimiter. Let me cancel this out. Let me create a custom column so we can demonstrate the use of uh, those options. Once the custom column is created, we will use that to split and demonstrate, and we will return back to our split example. So we go to add column. From ribbon tab select custom column and a new window opens up all right here let's give a name to our new custom column let's say we say custom underscore column underscore example right so the next box says custom column formula here you will write whatever action you need to perform this specific section deals with power query formulas uh, which will be covered in later videos as they're very complicated you have uh, information an icon here says enter your formula into the text area below so it says you can press control space to display the list of formulas available so let's press control space and it loads up the intellisense all of these are formulas available these will be touched upon in later videos on the right side you see list of available columns whatever column you need to use you will just double click on it and it will put it here we need to use two columns to create a concatenated new column so we double click on the two column names so we say first day double click on it and it has added it here so the syntax is it puts a pound sign and then a double quote here we will put in an ampersand sign and then double quote dash ampersand sign and then we need another column to which this will get concatenated which will be day high you see here it says no syntax errors have been detected it's important to note here that you will have to use the ampersand sign you cannot write out a and d as it will not work right so our new column is created but we have an error let's read up the error says we cannot apply operator and to types text and number so what it's trying to do is it's trying to concatenate a text column this column and a numeric column which is day high so what we can do is we will add a step before this step and convert day high to a text column so we click here and then we click day high and we choose text from here power query gives a heads up that you're adding out of sequence step and it could break your query since we already know and deliberately adding a step before our custom column we will ignore the error and proceed we click on insert and we see that it has converted this column text data type now we click on our custom step again and we will see that it has now concatenated it properly so we return to our split example we click this column again we click on split from home tab by delimiter and we give dash to it because we that's what we want to split at and now keep in mind that we have two delimiters in here so one dash is here one is here and it's the same for all of these so now three columns will be created and keep in mind that we need to keep this option selected which says each occurrence of the delimiter it means that it will split all of the delimiters if you want to just delimit by specific place of delimiter you will use these two options so if you just want first delimiter to split then first one and if you just want a split from the right side on only one delimiter you will use this option for now we will use this option click ok you see that we have three new columns one two and three and it has delimited based off the option by the delimiter dash we gave it all right so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new if you did, click the like and subscribe button and if you have any questions or suggestions, post them in the comment section below. Thank you.